Sadly, there are entities, you know, foreign and domestic, including Russia, which actively seek those weak points, whether it's American history of racism, or whether it's the Holocaust, the things where just by teaching people the wrong lessons, they know they can stir up trouble, right? So there's this totally amoral approach that if we, if we get Americans to deny the Holocaust, we don't care, you know, it's not that we care one way or the other, we the provocateurs about the Holocaust, it's that we care about making people upset. We care about breaking down trust. We, we care about destroying the possibility that the American society can learn something from history. I don't have any super smart answers to this. I mean, my own approach with my own kids is that we read books. <laughs> <laughs> my own approach to screen time with my kids is very conservative and in as far as there is screen time, it tends to focus on films, you know, as opposed to things where you where you search because it's it's the rabbit hole, right? Like it's the mm-hmm. YouTube algorithm, which always leads you to the more extreme thing. And you can get very extreme within about 15 seconds if you just click from one thing to, to the next. So I try in teaching my own kids to explain how the algorithms work in language that they can understand. Um, And this business of truth being courageous is something that I try to instill in them too, which means that like the truth isn't the thing which is going to find you, right? If the truth, if it's, if it's finding you, you should be suspicious. Uh, The truth is something you have to go out and find for yourself. It's going to take a little work. It's going to involve listening to people, right? And in this context, it means Jewish people in U.S. history in general. It often means African-Americans, but it's going to involve listening to people whose experiences are maybe different than your own. It's going to involve books and it's going to involve people. It frightens me too, Sarah, because people, you know, kids and everyone, they reach these levels of certainty after the repeated reinforcement, the repeated behaviors reinforcement they get online. And those levels of certainty, I mean, even when we're not talking about the most crucial issues like the Holocaust, those levels of certainty are are what's frightening. Because if you're so sure about things, you know, if your emotions have been have been solidified to such a point that you can't listen to other people, then, you know, right or wrong, important issue or not important issue, then we can't really talk as a country. 